How can you predict the shape or placement of an image in a concave mirror? There are three different diagrams you're going to have to be able to draw on tests. One has the object between C and F, one has the object past C, and the other has the object closer to the mirror than F. Three different possibilities and you're going to have to be able to predict where the image is for every single one of them. To do it though, it's the same rules every single time. There are three lines that I want you to draw. The first, I want you to start out going straight or parallel to the horizontal line and then I, once it hits the mirror, I want you to bounce through F. The second line, I want you to start out going through F and when it bounces off the mirror, it's going to bounce back straight. The third one, I just want you to draw a line between C and the pencil tip and extend it in both directions. Here, let's try this. Line number one, start out straight and then bounce through F. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my pencil tip, start out going straight, and I'm going to bounce off the mirror through F. Now, each time you draw a line like this, I want you to remember the bounced rays get extended behind the mirror. So here, we start out straight and then we bounce off the mirror. This here is the bounced ray. I want that extended backwards behind the mirror. This isn't going to play a role except for one of the diagrams we're doing, but I want you to get in the habit of doing that. The second line, start out with a line that goes through F and bounce back straight. So, start at the pencil tip again, go through F, and once you hit F, I want you to bounce back straight, parallel to the horizontal line. Oh, don't forget the bounced ray gets extended backwards. Last line, go through C. So start at the pencil tip, go through C, extend it in both directions. This should hit the mirror, but you know what, to be completely honest, it's rare that it's ever actually going to. So, what you'll notice is that all three of these lines kind of meet in this general area. Now, they don't meet in exactly the same place here, probably because of inaccuracies in the way that I've drawn this, but your teacher's not perfect. There could be inaccuracies on your test too. Be ready for it. I want you to draw the pencil with the array. Well, I've drawn an obelisk pencil thing here. Draw the image upside down where the top of your image is now the bottom of your image. Check it out. The image for an object in a concave mirror when the object is between C and F the image itself is in front of the mirror, beyond C. Let's try this again. Except this time, the object is beyond C. Three lines. Start straight, bounce through F. Start out straight, bounce through F. Extend that backwards. Start through F and bounce back straight. Go through F bounce back straight. Go through C. Through C. Yeah, well, there's nothing to bounce off of there. Ah, these all met in the same place too. They met right there. So the image for an object that is beyond C in a concave mirror is actually a little closer, but also in front of the mirror. You do this for the very last case that you could encounter. Start out straight, bounce through F. Start out straight, bounce through F. Don't forget to extend that backwards. Start through F, then bounce back straight. Now F is over here, so I've got to start at F, and go through the pencil tip, and then bounce back straight, as requested. Extend that backwards. Go through C. Through C, through the pencil tip to the mirror, and back. Extend that backwards. Oh, look! All three of these rays meet behind the mirror, right here. Draw your object, sorry, image. 
So, when an object is closer than f in a concave mirror, the image appears behind the mirror and bigger than the actual object was. You can back all of these conclusions up with mirror equations and magnification equations, but what I wanted you guys to get out of it today was being able to draw these three different ray diagrams of concave mirrors using these rules. Best of luck.